All right, welcome back to part two of Spycraft, the great game, which I am re-recording because I ran out of hard drive space where I was trying to store the video before. Woo! All right. Going back to the zone, the live weapons training area of the farm. Here we go. Okay, basic stuff. There's a squadron of men down there with one mission to drop you. Shoot or be shot. Got it? Best operatives rarely need to fire a weapon. When they do, it's just once. You miss, you die. Here's okay. your piece. Standard field sidearm modified to shoot a laser pulse. Try these new target tracking combat goggles. They track targets, isolate buildings, even generate real-time range readings. Use them to gain a tactical advantage. It's the only advantage you'll have. Remember, Thorn, targets are always hard. So use the double tap. Chest first to drop them, then the kill shot, right between the eyes. Forget headshots, kid. I've seen point-blank hits penetrate, curve around the skull, and shoot out the other side. When you want the kill, you go for the throat. I stand corrected. Now, make me proud out there. Okay, Thorn, earpiece is up. Here's what you've got to do. Get across the zone, and fast. See the display on your right? That's an overhead view, courtesy of our satellites. The light blue marker is you. The this enemy thing? is either red or yellow, depending on how dangerous he is. If he can see you, he's red. If you're not in his line of sight, then he's yellow. Now, green areas are vegetation. Use those for cover. Brown areas are elevation where the snipers live. The black area is open country. Get in there and you're asking for it. Warning. Okay, so pretty much everything about this sucks. Um, first of all, those glasses, or the goggles he handed us, was just a plastic ski mask. So I have no idea how it's doing any of this. The lenses weren't even tinted green, but sure. Second of all, this is what our satellites get us? It's some dots. Also, you mentioned those green, brown, and black areas. What's the light green area? I guess it's the same. Perfect. Final note, all that about the double tap? Worthless information. Uh, game doesn't care where you shoot anyone. Just shoot them, and they're dead. So, sure. Problem solved. However, I will say, Jeffries is right, I actually know someone who was shot in the head, and it curved around their head, and they survived, so... Jeffries is right on the throat for a kill shot deal, but I have no idea what has to do with this. Oh, someone showed up. Perfect. And we're done. Well, that was easy. If you can do that in the field, you'll have no worries. Perfect. All right, you're ready to move on. No worries. I've placed a radio beacon in the arena. Your job is to locate, acquire, and return. Use the sat track and your thing. goggles Bring to locate back. the beacon. Check. One more thing. It's not just some bogey out there. Our buddy Bruce is suiting up. He likes to test his people. Personally. You've this got makes no seconds. sense. Then I set him loose. I what? suggest you budget your time wisely. Pay attention, Thorn. When you're close to that beacon, you'll start hearing it. So it's the white thing on the map. Warning. I have no you're idea not what not the Bruce is coming in 30 seconds things mean. Whether you wait 30 seconds or not, he doesn't appear to show up. Or if he does, he's just a random guy. Makes almost no not sense. Okay. It hasn't been 30 seconds yet, so I guess it's not Bruce. Well, that was over 30 seconds. Was that Bruce? Don't know. Okay, maybe this is Bruce. So this is the thing we need. Now we got it. 
someone else is coming. Maybe this is Bruce. Oh no, dead. There's one other guy left. Oh, but now it's a cutscene. Hey, so I cheated. There's no rules in the field, kid. Just because you cheat. Oh god. You're dead. There was nothing you could have done, kid. The sniper who took Bruce down was the best I've ever seen. Don't let him shake you. The company lost a great one today. Bruce Jeffries would have made us proud. He would have made them forget the traitors and the sellouts, those damn shootings in front of our gates. Bruce Jeffries would have given us back our good name. But now, now it's up to you, Thorne. You made it in oh here, you God, can make it out sweater. there. Settle the score. That is a great sweater, sir. So I have no idea what Bruce was talking about. Case um, Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. With the I cheated thing, I still don't know whether he was actually in that course or not, but okay. But now he's dead, so that's bad. And apparently we're up. Okay, will do. Okay, we'll check out our office first real quickly. There's not much to do right now. Uh, there will never be anything to do with this pile. We're here at the desk. We can use our phone, but we have, you know, no one to call, so probably not. These are not real. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Computer right now just has Intelink on it. Here's an org chart. There's a great joke here. See, there's a deputy director of interactive entertainment. Ha! Huh, that's not a real thing. That's a video game sort of title. Get it? Hilarious. Um, other than that, you can see sort of the breakdown of the CIA. I don't know why this is in our, our office, because we're way down, like, here on it, but okay. DCI, Directorate of Central Intelligence, that's Peter Sterling. DBO, that's Warhurst right there. Um, and you'll notice in the next scene, Warhurst is Bitterman, Bitterman. Uh, at DCI Sterling because this title, though it's in charge of everything, is uh, presidential appointee, whereas most of the deputy director positions are career CIA positions, so Warhurst's probably been here 20, 30 years, whereas DCI Sterling's been here however long the president's been here, probably a couple years, so Warhurst is bitter man, bitter man about that. Other than that, none of this matters at all. Uh, also, as a side note, they've changed the names now. The structure is roughly the same, but the titles are different now in the CIA. So, if you happen to be trying to compare this to a modern org chart, it shall not fit. Another disaster for the agency. We can't afford this after Ames. We certainly can't expect Sterling's help. Remember, he's a presidential appointee. There it is. Not a company man. Yeah. Fucker. Also, Ames, a uh, real CIA trader. If you want to look him up at some point. Nothing is going to be... Nothing is going to prove to you more than what I'm going to show you soon. Afternoon. Thorne? Apparently we're late. Bruce was impressed with your performance, so I've decided that you'll handle the primary investigation, the one he was supposed to run. We found the weapon used in Bruce's killing. Loudly. Custom modified 30-06 with optical scope. No prints. Nothing. I put Lang on it. Parker and Asai will follow up on other leads. Jamie and David will be your internal support. The team will pool all its intel. I've also set up a back channel for private communications. Okay, here's the story. Two weeks ago, the agency received intelligence from a well-placed source in Moscow, codenamed Birdsong. 
He predicted two assassinations. The first one, Fyodor Dubansky, a right-wing candidate for the Russian presidency. The second, our own president. Now, this intel was initially classified as B minus, unreliable, and we didn't act on it. Here's B minus. With the Bansky death, Russian President Polyakov faces serious competition in his re-election bid. Arkady Trebanov, an entrepreneur turned politician, will now get the conservative vote and build a coalition that can vote him into office. Okay, Birdsong's intel is now A+, plus, which means the president is in real danger. President Brooks is planning a high-profile visit to Russia. He's going to sign a denuke treaty, the first one with real teeth. He wants to give Polyakov a boost. Yes, but if this situation doesn't cool, I'll have to talk to the president about postponing. And that is a conversation I do not want to have. Now, Thorne, I want you to meet with this birdsong and find out exactly what else he knows. We can only reach birdsong through dead drops. No face-to-face -face meetings. It'll take time. Well, you're going to have to do better. I want any information birdsong has ASAP. Yeah. A lot of good people in danger. Danger's what they do, isn't it? Why don't we analyze the video first? See if there are any additional clues, like who pulled the trigger. I don't care however you proceed. Just get me answers and fast! Damn it. Now this is my ass on the line! Well, we have our orders. Okay, we can all see Warhurst is uh, team Case player. Case Officer Thorne, welcome. All right. Got a regular old email. Congrats. I know you're going to do well out there. I can feel it. Of course, now it's time to get cracking. Get cracking. I'll be around to help you with the intel you gather, authorized access page, and ops manager. Let's check out the ops manager first. Mission directives for case officer Thorne. All right. So the ops manager is a tool that lets us see what our objectives are and also what the rest of the team is working on. Ops is things to do. Human, human intelligence, SIGINT, signals intelligence. So for human, we need to meet with Moscow Station Chief regarding, apparently now he's an agent, Birdsong. Uh, in the previous cutscene, it was pretty clear he was just an informant, but sure. For SIGINT, we got nothing. Agent Lang. Mission directives for Case Officer Lang. Uh, he did some weapons investigation, whatever. He's going to meet with a weapons expert about the weapon, which from the previous explanation was a 30 6 with an optical sight. So that sounds like a really generic hunting weapon, but sure, whatever. For Sigint, he's got nothing. Asai. Mission directives for Case Officer Asai. Ooh, she's published a report. This is her audio journal, sort of. This is Case Officer Asai. Hello. I've just returned from Walter Reed, where the FBI's medical examiner went over Bruce Jeffries. The bullet that killed him was run of the mill. Very ordinary. I think the shooter wanted it that way. Anyone could buy this ammo at a slew of gun shops in Virginia or Maryland. In other words, the trail is already cold. I'll, I'll keep digging. Asai, out. Thank you. Okay, no second. Mission directives Parker. for Case Officer Parker. Also has a report. Case Officer Parker reporting. I'm about to meet with Owen Pearson of our Moscow station regarding someone he's been trailing. A Rajiv Jalabad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely person, that Mr. Jalabad. He's been connected to three Tel Aviv suicide bombings in the last six years. At least now we know who talks those idiots into it. Alabad is a real live terrorist, an illustrious member of the FBI's top ten. I'm honored. 
question is, what's he doing in Moscow? I'll continue to update you on my progress. Parker out. Question is, what does this have to do with our case? What does a Tel Aviv suicide bomber guy have to do with the murder of a Russian presidential candidate and our president? I don't know. Also, these names seem weird. Uh, so he's supposed to contact an associate of Rajiv's named Numian Fong. Um, so if he's involved in Tel Aviv suicide bombing, one assumes he's Arab, I would guess. Numian Fong, definitely not an Arab name. Rajiv, I don't, I don't think is an Arab name either. I think it's, I think it's Indian or Pakistani, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, names, fun. Also, now apparently Owen Pearson, the operative he was supposed to meet with in Moscow, is apparently dead now. So that's not great. Let's look him Pearson. up. Pearson, Owen Arthur. Owen Arthur Pearson, alias Scorpion. Awesome. I love the aliases in this game. Let's look him up. He's trailing unsavory characters involved with the Mafia underworld in Moscow. Possible connection with presidential candidate Arkady Chabanov. Including Rajiv Kneecaps Jalabad. Okay. Still not sure how this is directly related to our case, but whatever. Operation Eagle Shield, that's our operation. As in Eagle, the President, Shield, Protect, get it? Perfect. Okay, so he's dead somehow. So Parker's in Moscow following up on that stuff. Awesome. Here's our operations manager. Younger. Patricia. Patricia Younger. Uh, she's in Mensa, very bright. She does a bunch of stuff. Her alias is Aunt B, which is a terrible alias. Her ops log says she, you know, does uh, her job perfect. Okay, let's go back to our thing. Maybe. Authorized access page. Controlled access authenticated. Good. Power play compartment accessed. Okay, here's our authorized access. We have 201, 201 files. files accessed. Wow. Level routine. In stereo. CC, DCI, DDO, Moscow Station Chief. Here's us. Here's your reports to us. Pretty much everyone. Seaton. Jamie Ann. Her alias is Ashen, apparently. I doubt it, but whatever. We'll look at all these later. Archives, nothing. The interaural transmitter. That's our earwig. Uh, we can talk to each other, and it somehow talks to our PDA in some nebulous way that's unclear. Sound hack. The word newsflash opens a channel to me. The second part is a high pitched noise that damages the cochlea. That's part of the ear, in case you're curious. So somehow it doesn't damage the person who's wearing it, but anyone else wearing an earpiece uh, just gets fucked. Perfect. We'll bear that in mind. General referenced OCAs. Arkady Chirbanov. This is the guy mentioned moments ago, who is now next in line for president of Russia due to the assassination of, uh, uh, don't remember his name, the other guy. Cunning, shrewd, and very driven. He's well funded. New capitalism. So that basically means mafia. Had West access to Western banking accounts. Blah, blah, blah. Mafia connections. Centron Dmitry Bulgakov. A childhood friend. Something, something. Okay. So maybe he's related to the mafia or not. 
it's unclear. Here's the current president of Russia, President Alexander Polyakov. Uh, okay, elected by Democratic vote. Blah, 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 blah. Genuine reformer. D d uh, hopefully you're reading along. Large appetite for women, wine, and vodka. Okay, so we got Boris Yeltsin here. Hello, Boris Yeltsin. And then some other guy. Perfect. All right, video message from Jamie. Thorn, I've put the Dubansky video up on the link with some tools to analyze it. Oh, gotta run. A size on the other line. What's You're in a real hurry to get rid of us there, Jamie. You were, like, shocked to be talking to us after you initiated the call. But that's fine. So the Kennedy assassination tools will create a 3D model from the Dubansky assassination. Perfect. We will deal with that. All right. Well, that was kind of a boring video this time. Sorry for that. But um, next time, we will use the Kennedy assassination tools to investigate the assassination, find out who was behind it, and move on from there. All right. Thanks so much. You guys all have a great rest of your day.